Hi everyone, my name is Kate and I'm working remotely all the way from Kentucky this summer as an intern for the Poughkeepsie Farm Project. I'm just getting started on a new and exciting project with Larissa, who is the farm educator and meditation garden steward for Poughkeepsie Farm. And we are going to be making a series of videos that highlight the various plants that Larissa grows in the meditation garden. So for this first video, our focus is a plant called stinging nettle. So I hope y'all learn a lot and enjoy. Um, let's get started. Let's get to know our plant. Stinging nettle is found in places all across the world, but especially in environments that get a lot of rain. Stinging nettle is recognizable by its heart-shaped leaves that have stinging hairs on them. The leaves, flowers, stems, and root of the nettle plant can all be used for food or herbal preparations. But it's important to keep in mind that fresh leaves should always be cooked to avoid stinging before we eat them. And this is important to keep in mind for later in the video when we share with you some recipes that can be made using stinging nettle leaves. Once we've learned how to harvest nettle and cook it safely, you can enjoy the many health benefits that come with stinging nettle. For example, it is extremely nutritious and high in protein, has a lot of vitamins and minerals, including iron, calcium, and antioxidants. Finally, nettle is traditionally used as a medicinal herb remedy to relieve seasonal allergies and joint pain to support healthy blood sugar and more. And now we're going to learn some more about stinging nettle from Larissa. These are our stinging nettles. And the reason why they're called stinging is because they have these little hairs that uh, sting your fingers or your body if you were to come against them. A lot of people actually use the stinging method to draw blood to their arthritis. They can like smack their knees or smack their backs or different elements in their body for the stinging effect. But uh, I just use them for tea and a pesto and a bunch of other recipes. And you just harvest the top, the young little flower bud on the top there before it goes to seed before it goes to flower. So you wanna get them when they're nice and young. And if they start going too early, you can always just whoosh, chop them down and then they'll regrow again and they'll be nice and fresh and you can uh, use them again. So you use just the leaf part. You wanna use some gloves when you're touching them. And then you can put that in a mason jar, fill it up with some hot boiling water and seep them. You have a tea and then when you're done with your tea, you can turn the, the um, scorched metals into uh, a pesto or any other recipe. Earlier in the video, Larissa mentioned making tea from stinging nettle leaves. So here's how. First of all, you'll need about two handfuls of stinging nettle leaves, two cups of water, and then honey or lemon juice if you would like. What you'll do is place the nettle leaves in a jar or a mug. Then pour boiling water over the leaves, allowing it to steep for several minutes so that the leaves can infuse into the water. Next, you'll pour the water through a strainer to remove the leaves, and you can save leaves for other recipes and uses, like pesto. Finally, add lemon and or honey if desired, and enjoy this healthy herbal tea. Another delicious way you can use stinging nettle leaves is by making a pesto. For this recipe, you'll need four to six cups of stinging nettle leaves if you're using raw leaves, or if you're using leaves left over from making tea, so leaves that have already been boiled, you'll need about one cup. Then two to three medium garlic cloves, a fourth cup nuts or seeds, a fourth cup vegetable or olive oil, two teaspoons of lemon juice or vinegar, a fourth cup Parmesan cheese if you would like, and then salt and pepper to taste. So for the steps, if you're using raw leaves, place them in boiling water for one to two minutes and make sure the whole time you're using gloves or tongs to handle the leaves carefully so that they don't sting you. Then wring the leaves dry with a towel and combine the leaves with the remaining ingredients in the food processor and blend until smooth. 
enjoy with fresh veggies, bread, pasta, salad, and so on. Thank you so much for learning with us today and we'll see you back here again soon.